welcome back to the channel i'm king of bad and in today's video we're back with xcom chimera squad we're right where we left off uh just because i, I kind of had to otherwise i was gonna forget where i was or what to do but we have our spec ops going he's almost done in here once he finishes the training i'll go ahead and get zephyr's scar removed and hopefully she'll be ready to go for the last mission even though she hasn't been doing too much since whatever her last mission was i don't know probably won't notice while i'm editing either we can get caustic rounds here which i think do that as do acid damage or we can do frag grenades and plasma grenades which we already have enough utility items either way it goes like we're gonna have to do this mission though because that one's not gonna go over into causing anarchy if we don't do it bring down if i do this one i'll bring down city unrest by two how much intel do we have not enough to build a new field team yeah not quite enough to build a new field team but we'll still just go here wait yeah we have to go here because the unrest is too high to leave just sitting acquired friendly vip hostiles incoming get to the evac All right, let's know those engines will receive an extra, extra, an extra action point. We want the scan here, and Torque has it. I didn't give her those weapon, the the one rounds that I just bought. I think. This no, the laser side that I just bought. Forgot to do that. But I don't think it matters because the worst weapon here, like quality of uh, accessories wise, I think is shelter. Go for this shot here. You can go for this shot. Ooh, if you hit two, you might kill it. Looks like we did. We can have the pistol fire here. And we'll use Dazzle now. This will, di will disorientate a bunch of people. That'll make them harder. Well, make it harder for them to aim. Remove the panic of this civilian, VIP. I guess, or Target VIP. Where's the VIP at? Are they across the way? No, they're not. Dumb. But who is the VIP? Is it this is one of these two dudes. It hasn't really zoomed in. Oh, I could just. Oh, he's right here. Never mind. Whatever. Adrenal surge first, as always. all right it looks like three and nine are pretty are grouped up enough for this to do damage to both of them that or four and eleven uh which is almost all right those two are pretty grouped up too who can i reach for smash okay so i can reach smash on three so then i go for, or not yeah i can use smash on three and then go for a quake on four and eleven from this angle go on get out of here and that gets the civilian out the way too there's a civilian in the way over here though so i might not be able to use smash unless i do it no they're not even close enough to use it anyways so you can just take out the number three dude I could have saved it for a different time too. I didn't have to use it there, but whatever. I don't know why he's getting the move now. I guess this is a bonus action from the uh from the breach. This immediately gives him another turn. Trying to use to attack the number three person. Also from this angle. Come on, get to safety. Alright, that's weird. I don't know why he did that. That ran all the way over there, then raged, and then went to start his turn. That's good though, because we did manage to stun the acolyte, which means they won't get their turn. It was a two-time stun. I don't know why he's getting that turn. Oh, well, I didn't use his turn last time. Can I get both of them with the turn code grenade? I can. We get the most out of this extra one action. 
Because both of those don't take actions to use. This is they're going to shoot at each other. They almost killed him, too. So that's pretty good. And he's going to miss his shot, but that's fine. And we can get the fracture dude out here, too. Which is another thing that I think doesn't take an action. Yep. That, that also didn't take an action. So I'm just doing a bunch of stuff. And now who can you see from here? The five dude. Let's go for the seven dude and push him to the bottom of the turn order. I don't know why they make his voice so much deeper too. If it's supposed to be a copy of him. And now this dude can finally take his turn. They're berserked. Six. Uh, no, number two is stunned. And we really only had one turn so far. One official turn. Because that was all. That was all just bonus action stuff. Get you here and hunker down. Their turn is skipped. We can move her far enough to see that. Well, can I tell for the number eight from here? No. If I can get far enough to see, well, I guess it's number seven now. And then tongue pool. The number seven person. I don't know why it wasn't giving me that before. I don't think I was just not doing it. Don't struggle. It takes them out. They're berserk. Okay, we're berserk. Cool. Now, lightning hands from here. You can see the number two person. Should have started with dead eye. I'll take it. And you can't. Oh, forgot about him. Heads up. Got the hostile. And oh, I guess I could. I don't know why I messed up one time or what I did wrong one time, really, because that's probably what it was. Go, you're safe. Go. Okay, whose turn is it now? I'll keep an eye out. This dude's turn. No, it's Shelter's turn. Can relocate with them. Changing locales. Oh, forgot about that cool Still got it. and then uh Surgical. can overwatch over here Looking for targets. now this dude's gonna walk up just walk straight Ready up to him over. oh i thought he lost health oh whatever i thought he had lost health i don't know where he, where he would have lost the health from but on my screen i thought i saw him with one bar missing dude is bound don't know why. Never mind. I know why that blew up. He didn't berserk. Move him over here. He's watching across this way. So if they come too far forward, they're going to get affected. Because he was watching where this dude was. I think Psych Up ever takes an action, right? Yeah, I can literally use that whenever I want to. You can watch that door. Now, can they make it all the way? They can make it most of the way. And they're not next to that car, so we can't have some spontaneous combustion taking him out. You can sustain your bind. You gotta keep this sorcerer out of the fight. And you also can dash up to as far as you can go because you're going to Overwatch right afterwards. If they move, I'll shoot. Oh, we do have a chance to relocate you also. You could relocate with the arms dealer. Right? And that gives them an extra turn, doesn't it? No, I was thinking a tongue pull with Zephyr, but either way. It still puts us in a position that we want to be in. And we can move over to here. That turn's getting skipped again, and then we'll have reinforcements. I wonder if we can take all of the reinforcements out before they get a turn. But we're already not because we don't have enough shots going out. Because there's three of them coming in. But that's fine. And you can use smash on none because smash will end your turn. You don't get a move after smash. What about subdue though? Subdue will deal the same amount of damage. 
Next time melee strikes a target. No, I'm running on. Get an action after dashing. Coming for you. You can get all the way up in his face just to shoot him. Which sounds fun because it's completely for my own enjoyment. Cool. Hostile isn't moving. That could have not killed too is the funny this. part. It was not guaranteed to kill him. We can get this dude out into safety so don't have to worry about any cars. Uh, you can... You can release the bind and then you subdue. Don't stray too far. Ooh, I almost messed that up. You subdue. That way you get at least like uh one square, three squares closer, two Why squares, something like that. A little bit this? closer. Have you dashed to right here? Because last time I did this and put him on the point after two turns, it forced me to take him out. Oh, you can get out though. You can evac uh, yourself. And you can re relocate with Torque and evac her. Actually, I might be able to make that dash back. I'm not sure, but I know Torque won't be able to make that in at least she might need two or three turns to make that move. And we only have one person in Overwatch for this move. Which was like an intentional mistake on my part. Probably should have put some people in Overwatch, but I didn't need to. Yeah, so he's not gonna be able to make it out either. So the number two person is gonna get a turn. Unless I use team up with blue blood. Rush him all the way back. We are in cover behind a car, so we might run into issues with that, but I think we should be fine. Go on, get out of here. And we free the civilian. So now you can use dead eye first. Both of them are 82% chances, but we need to deal more damage to them. Get and kill. That armor's tough. Then we can use lightning hands. Take out the number two person. And we have a free reload, so it doesn't take an action. Back in action. And take a shot again on them. Hopefully this car doesn't explode because it looks like the first shot passed through it for some I'll reason. That was impressive. Move you all the way back to here. I'm moving. Now I shouldn't have used team up to move Blue Blood's turn up. I probably should have just used it to um just cut. Well, not even. I probably shouldn't have just used it Incoming. or used it to put their turns closer together. Like after Blue Blood's turn, have used it. Probably would have worked out a little bit better. I want to go for the number 10 person. And the car's blown up not too without us taking damage from it. Blue Bud's probably going to get take at least one point of damage. Well, not one point, but like he's going to get shot at. Take one shot. There's no cover from this angle. Not what I expected him to do. That's pretty good though because Blue Bud's immune to poison. And then just cause uh just cause fuck you, that's why. For trying to deal that damage to him. And fuck your friend too. Uh safe in safe in 31 PD's custody is preferable to dead in a ditch. He's happy to sell out his former associates. The price on his head is loosened his tongue. He's talking about the uh the dude we just saved because we saved an arms dealer. Looking to rent a boat? Get a tour of a hydroelectric plant that keeps City 31's lights on? Or perhaps you're simply here for the fish. Whatever your reasons, Angler Point, Angler's Point has the has activities to fill your day and food to fill your stomachs. 
City 31 Tourism Council. And our key's raised up to two now, so it's starting to become an issue. But we have Patchwork working on that. Do your people have a religion? What, mutons or aliens in general? Either. The elders were the closest we had to what you consider gods, but there was something else. Oh? Mutons who arrived in the invasion have a spiritual connection with our starships. Psionic? No, no, nothing like that. But we return to them as we can. A kind of pilgrimage. Do you ever return to yours? No. XCOM destroyed it in 2015. Well, I guess XCOM literally blew up his religion the way he was describing it. Uh, the issue here is I need to pull both of these districts down. This one's actively applying to our unrest, though. So I do need to pull this one down more than anything else. Can use Dragnet here to get the extra Illyrium, because why not? And I can use this to pull down the unrest by two right now, or I can wait a little bit and see if I can get the unrest. Uh, not the unrest, but get enough um incel to build these last two field teams and then i'll be able to pull it down by three but I, at this point in the game i don't even know if i could lose i might not be able to at this point but i'm gonna go ahead and use it anyways uh this is gonna save everything yeah and all of our unrest went down too i don't know why everything just went down though I can't, I don't know what this does now. I'm confused. Or a bunch of other places went down also. Anyways, though, we do have to do this mission, but we'll do that next time. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe and all that stuff. It helps me grow my channel. Ooh, thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.